Hey guys, Silence DL here. Welcome back to the Utah Macross update video. So if you guys have been following me on my Facebook page, you guys will have known that uh, there were a few things that was mentioned within the latest episode of Makutoma, uh, the short form for basically Macross Gatoma Ranai, where they basically update, you know, the official news that's going on in the Macross franchise. Then of course, there's the update to Utah Macross as well. So yes, we got a glimpse of Basara's brand new special uh, costume sequence. Um, but strangely enough, I'm kind of upset about this sequence because if you guys take a look at the <laughs> short clip that they actually showed during the uh, live stream itself, where is Basara's guitar? <laughs> you know, Milane's sequence did get her base included which was very cool you can tell that you know Basara's stance shows that he is holding his guitar but the physical guitar is gone from the sequence so I'm hoping that Dana or DNA um, basically gets feedback to about that sequence and maybe they might fix the thing before the costume gets launched to the game because it just feels very weird, but you know, Basara is very cool, but you know, having him say let's rock without his iconic guitar, it's kind of disturbing to me. Alright, so aside from that, we are going to talk about what is the main title for this video. Yes, it's the Super Space Time New Year's present as usual every year, you get the same kind of stuff. So let's break down what the missions are this time round. So let's tap the missions hat, you know, and... We basically have, let's see, uh, 15 days to clear all the missions here. But we, the main important thing is to see whether this set of missions actually come with daily missions. Um, whether you need to, you know, constantly log in every day to a certain amount of uh, stuff to get those daily packets of gifts. Uh, you know, it's, it's just to see whether there is or apparently there isn't. So that's a good thing. So basically, if you're the kind of player who has been, you know, constantly playing the game at their, your, your leisure pace, not like me, who is kind of a bit of a hardcore gamer, but yet not too hardcore to the extent where my wallet cries for help. <laughs> so yes, okay, so uh, luckily enough, there is no daily missions regarding the Super Space Time New Year's present mission. Yes, it's a very long mouthful, but... That is what it is in Japanese kanji here on the text. Uh, so yeah, that, that, that's what this is all about. So we're going to earn all this New Year's packets to exchange for very rare important resources regarding episode plays. Um, which is like the Rare Up Star. Um, then of course you have like the Secret Stones, you know, that kind of stuff um, that basically helps you progress forward as a player and you know trying to you know rarity up episode plates at the same time unlocking their secret boards that will eventually unlock the lucky the luck leaf notes um, which will help in getting like um, excellent scores for your perfect packs and all that kind of stuff so if you're a high score achieving player um, these presents are definitely very important towards you and of course, for those of you who are trying to maybe evolve certain episode plates uh, or rarity up certain episode plates because you want to see the illustrations or maybe you just have a very useful episode plate that has a special note attached to it but the problem is you haven't managed to gotten a duplicate copy, that kind of situation. So yes, the rare up star is very very important. Of course, the secret stones as well and all that good jazz that you can actually exchange for with all these packets. So let's break down all the missions first. So we're going to go in the generic term when you see the numbers increase before the Japanese pack changes. Basically, they're all the same thing. So the first batch of missions here, it goes up to the 200 value. So basically, just clear any song 200 times. So if you're constantly playing the event that's currently going on right now, this set of missions shouldn't be difficult. In fact, the, since this event lasts for such a long period of time uh, and since we're going into the Raid Boss event soon, I think this shouldn't be that difficult to clear. 
All right, so let's move on to the next set. So let's see, it says here one, six, ten, and that's the next set. Basically, um, get a double S rank score um, for any song. So this is pretty easy to get as well, as long as um, you've got like level, um, I would say six star episode plates that are fully powered up, you know, on, you know, on all your divas in the team. And if you're playing on a lower le lower difficulty song, I think um, this one will be easily cleared. So no no hus no um, fast and hustle. I I can't think right now. It's late at night. I should be sleeping. But I'm, yeah, I am making a video for you guys. <laughs> uh, so you you guys get what I mean. So there's there's not much of a fast to try and clear this one. All right. So moving along. Um, so the next set here, so we have 1, 5, and 10. Oh, actually it's 1 and 5. Okay, so apparently we have to full combo song. So you just, the maximum amount of times required is basically 5 times. So any song full combo 5 times, not difficult as well. Uh, if you want to clear this simply and quickly, just play the easiest difficulty song, full combo the song, you, you know, and that's it. So it, it's not that difficult to clear as well. Uh, considering that they're only asking you for five times. All right, moving along. So this one requires you to clear a difficulty of heart and above. So if you can handle extreme, this will instantly clear. So as long as you meet the requirements of it uh, under extreme. So basically, let's see how many times do you need the most out of it. Um, so yeah, 40 is the highest. So basically, get a double S rank, score rank for hard difficulty and above. So if you can clear hard, very hard and extreme 40 times with a double S rank score, this set of missions will instantly clear. So yeah, like I said, if you can handle the higher difficulties, um, this one shouldn't be a problem as well. Um, you know, a, a double S rank score isn't exactly very difficult, probably about one to two million score, you should get it instantaneously. Um, you know, of course, if you are not able to because you're a new player, it just means that you need, you know, you need more powerful episode plates for the time being. So eventually you will get there. So no problems about that. But, you know, getting all these mission packs, um, rewards and exchanging for the stuff that can help you power up your episode plates, uh, you know, just making use of the resources along the way. And then, of course, getting to clear the rest of the missions along the way as well. You know, just play smart. All right, so moving along. Oh no, I see full combo requirements. So that's one, three, and five, 10, 20. Oh God. Okay, so hard and above full combo requirements. So this one is starting to be a bit tricky. So like I said, in the last full combo requirement missions, um, so you just had to play a hard, uh, difficulty and above so uh, if you can full combo extreme songs that would be fantastic if not very hard would be the next best thing um you know full comboing songs isn't exactly very difficult especially when it comes to the hard difficulty levels of songs um 20 times can be a bit tricky because you know sometimes you know when your attention is not fully on the game uh, or maybe if you just woke up and you have to play the game on a higher difficulty, you definitely won't be full comboing the song. Um, I'm sure all of you guys can understand what I mean. Uh, if you guys have been playing religiously in a bit more of a hardcore status, you guys will know what I mean. It's never a good idea to play an extreme difficulty song immediately after you wake up because your attention span is not, you know, uh, at its main focal point yet. Alright, so not a difficult set of missions yet, but a bit tr tricky, just play smart and you should clear it easily. Now we are moving into the very hard territory and it requires a double S rank score. So like I said on the, uh, the, the batch of, you know, hard difficulty and above, this basically is the same thing. If you can clear extreme, this one will clear along with it. So just uh, clear 20, 20 times with a uh, double S rank score on um, very hard and above. So if you can clear extreme songs, the hard and very hard missions will just 
instantly clear just like that. All right, we're moving into the very hard difficulty with full combo requirements. So let's see, how many does it need for the maximum? Oh, it is 20 here. 20 is the highest, just like the hard difficulty missions. So full combo on very hard and above, basically very hard or extreme, 20 times on any song. So that's another, mm, well, kind of, it's starting to move into the pretty difficult um, set of missions. And now we are into the extreme difficulty, so you clear any song um, with a double S rank score of uh, extreme difficulty 20, 30, 40, 50, wow, 60! 60 times is the maximum you need to do this, so I guess play all the very easy extreme songs, so like those songs with the difficulty of 20, 21, and 22, if you can tackle 23, um, usually the uh, difficulty level of 23 extreme songs will you know, instantly give you that double S rank score uh, even with uh, you know just basic setup of all episode plates at um, 6 star rarity powered up um, you don't really need um, a 7 star episode plate that kind of thing or even a Kira fight episode plate I hope you guys are understanding what all the terminology that I'm using because I have mentioned this in all my tutorial videos. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, definitely go check out my tutorial playlist. Um, go catch yourself up with all things full time across and then of course get yourself familiarized with all the terminology as well. Alright, moving along. So I think we're going to the full combo zone. So yeah, the first one says here 10, 20. Okay, so at least at least the full combo requirements for the extreme difficulty only requires you to clear 20 times. So that's not too difficult. There are some extreme songs that are pretty easy out there. Um, so look for them um, and you should be able to just clear this mission easily. You know, if you guys still can't tackle extreme difficulties, maybe it's time to start practicing because um, some of the extreme difficulty songs at level 20 are no different from a level 18 very hard difficulty song so <laughs> give them a try don't be afraid you know even though it's just wasting the energy um i'm sure you might have quite a bit of the energy ether stored up in your item inventory um somewhere and you're not using it so why not make use of them now to practice it you know getting good uh, at the game with some extreme difficulty songs that are kind of easy to tackle. So yeah, all right, then we're moving on to the missions that require you to clear certain series of songs. So basically, um, the star element or the yellow series songs, you need to score 1 million and above. Uh, so that's the first one. Then of course you have the love or the pink series songs, basically the same thing, 1 million and above. Then of course the Soul, the Blue series songs, score 1 million and above. Then of course now we are moving into the higher, um, high score requirements, so 1.5 million, 3 million, and that's it. Oh wow! Wow, they only asked for 3 million. So that's kind of generous. Okay, so for new Uta Macross players, yes, 3 million might sound ridiculously high, but once you've started to obtain your first six star seven star piece of plates and of course if you power up your you know essential powerful episode plates uh that are maybe max max rarity of six stars um three million eventually will not seem that difficult to attain eventually um and of course if you powered up your divas uh proficiency levels and of course your costume levels as well um 3 million isn't exactly very difficult now considering that the highest uh wailing high score that i've seen is um 1.5 um i would say okay 15 15 million <laughs> i would say 15 million 15 million is the highest i've seen for a wailing play uh, paid to play utah cross player out there um so yeah 15 million is insane um you know considering how much money is involved uh especially when they have like their seven star episode plates kira fight and 
their luck value and luck notes are all filled up. That's just insane. It's insane, okay? So, <laughs> 3 million isn't exactly a lot. In fact, it's being pretty lenient to free-to-play players as well. Uh, considering that for myself, you know, my score range is around 4 to 6 million already. So, 3 million isn't exactly very difficult. So, yes, Dana is being very generous here <laughs> so yes guys that's pretty much it the breakdown for all the uh, super space time new year's present mission it's still a very big mouthful to say <laughs> but yeah guys what do you guys think of the missions what do you guys think about the amount of you know packets that they're giving out for the entire mission event um, if you guys want to see all the goods that they actually can exchange for you can always check it out here under the chaos exchange tab down here and of course you can just scroll through all the wonderful items here that is worth exchanging so of course the main highlight it items are always the fully um, pieced together items like the rare up star the secret stones then of course the episode ops you know fantastic fantastic stuff the rest of the items are just basically there to entice you not necessarily needed to change you know the fragments are okay maybe if you have like a few remaining packets left that you can't change for like the full piece together items that kind of stuff and then you of course you'll go for the fragments and of course the tiny version of the episode ops but if you can always go for the fully formed items do not bother with the tiny ones because you know it's just not worthwhile to change for the tiny ones look at that you know one tiny fragment cost you 50 packets when you know you need 100 packets just to gain one fully formed one and you know 10 fragments 10 fragments is a long way from getting a fully formed star you need 100 fragments to get a fully formed star so 100 times 50 that's 500 packets definitely not worthwhile so yes just just by math alone you can definitely see why i say the fully formed items are actually still more worthwhile to exchange for so yeah guys, what do you guys think of the missions? Are they easy for you to clear? Um, or maybe are they a bit difficult because you're a brand new time across player? Or maybe you're a lo long time fan but have not been playing regularly. And of course, you're facing some struggles just like a new player would. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, if you uh, appreciated the translations and all that good stuff, make sure you leave a like on this video. Share this video to all your friends who are still playing Utah Macross and of course subscribe if you're brand new to the channel if you want more information about Macross and Utah Macross and maybe all the other games that I'm actually playing along the way. So uh, until then guys, I'll see you guys in the next video on my channel soon. Bye!